We are now joined by LA Galaxy midfielder Sasha Question, who just appeared in his, in his 300th MLS career game. Uh, we'll start off questions with Josh Gessman. Go ahead. Hey, Sasha, congratulations on uh, on 300. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you a question about that here in a second, but want to get your thoughts on uh, on the point against Colorado. It seemed like it was a pretty even game. Maybe you guys missed some chances that you'd like to have back, but what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, pretty even. I think a uh, pretty good result for us to come on the road, uh, play against a team that is in front of us in the standings and not let them pick up any more points on us. Um, pretty even result. I think it's good that we came back. Obviously, when, when you go down on the road, it's difficult to come back. So a good goal by Sam to, to get us back in the game. And then, yeah, you know, we missed some chances maybe in the first half that we probably should have buried. They missed some chances as well. That's, you know, that's the game. Um, overall, a pretty fair result, I would say. Do, do you feel like the guys are, are getting more comfortable within it? I mean, Greg just talked about it. 17 players, uh, you know, brand new to the team. There's a whole bunch of missing pieces for international break. You get guys back. You do all these things. You go on the road to play at a very difficult place in Colorado. Do you, do you feel like um, things are starting to sink in now with only 11 games left? Well, I think today was a good picture of a mature performance of guys. Um, you know, Seb only got back with, a, with us yesterday. So for him to show up and play 90 minutes and, and put in a really solid effort, you know, he's just one example. Um, still guys not back from international duty, you know, with their situations. And, you know, we it was an interesting couple of weeks because we had no game on the weekend and we worked a lot on uh, some tactical things during these weeks and some defensive things. And I thought that part was pretty good today. So to see what we worked on get put into action and, and, and get a pretty good result considering how hot it was today and playing at elevation and the pitch wasn't very good. So uh, pretty mature performance. We talked about uh, at this point in the season, we just can't lose. We, we, we have to try to win games, but also knowing that sometimes a point on the road is pretty good. So um, in that aspect of the game and, and that part of our season, I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Uh, 300 career games. Uh, when you look back on it, does it feel like it was just yesterday? Do you, does it feel like a lot of hard work went into all that? How do you how do you sort of you know put wrap your head around 300 games? Uh, I mean, I'd also say it's probably more like closer to 550 or 600 games total now, considering all the games I played at Anderlecht and Open Cup and playoffs and all that stuff. So I would say that I've talked to guys before that being available is a skill. And so I have been available for my whole career. I think I've missed through injury seven games out of all these, whatever, five or 600. Um, some of that is a little bit of luck, not having any major injuries. Another part is the way I handle myself professionally, I think, and take care of myself. So, um, I mean, I, I, there are a lot of those games I can remember. You could, you could tell me the game and I would probably tell you the result and what happened. Uh, I'll never forget my first game. I, I don't really remember 100 or 200 uh, in MLS specifically, but there are a lot of games in there. I've really enjoyed this game very much and everything that it's brought me in, in my life. So I'm, I'm very thankful to reach this milestone and, and hopefully keep going for many more. Congrats, Sasha. Thanks. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Jonathan Siegel. Hi, Sasha. Um, Greg addressed this as well, but what have you seen this year from the Galaxy when facing clubs that are in similar playoff kind of jockeying positions, obviously Colorado and you guys are both pushing to be in those top spots this time of year, you know, the intensity kind of raises. So what have you seen from this club when facing teams that in theory, you guys are in the same area in the standings? Well, I, I mean, you could just look at the results for, for those games, uh, loss against Kansas city losses against Seattle uh, a loss and a draw against Colorado. So, so far not good enough, but uh, you also have to win all your other games in order to get yourself in the right spot for the, the playoff seating and all that stuff. But uh, I think as the season wears on now, as we get into this last third of the season, uh, we have some pretty big games down the stretch against some of our rivals that are at the top of the table. And we just have to keep pushing and, and keep getting better. And I think um, have more mature performances where we don't make mistakes, we make teams beat us. Next, we'll go to Galaxy Guy podcast. Hey, Sasha, congratulations on 300 MLS appearances. You're, you're saying 600 total. Uh, that makes you a super veteran. And as a super veteran, I'm going to ask you as a midfielder, 
this Galaxy midfield, what, in your opinion, does this Galaxy midfield need in this last third of the season? What do they need? Um, to that? I, I would say in the last third of the season, a, a continuation of what we're doing while also trying to improve tactically. So I think just uh the balance of midfielders when we don't have the ball i think that if we shore up things defensively um that will be much better in the long run uh, and i don't just mean on the defense i mean us getting into position quicker into a defensive posture quicker to really uh, negate teams from playing through us so i'm not really worried about anything with our midfielders on the ball because we have so many good technical midfielders between Jonah and Victor Vasquez and Sebastian and Ryan, uh, you know, even Sam and Kevin, Ephraim, who, who plays in here sometimes. Um, not worried about things with the ball, just just more about us getting into defensive positions quicker to to stop teams from playing through us. Awesome. Congratulations again, man. Another 300 or so, right? We'll see. All right, thanks for your time, Sasha. All right, thanks, guys.